presented by Turkish Airlines, Spalding, and Intersport. In the show, younger brother Zoran Dragic is starting to shine on his own. Marcus Williams is Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar's lethal weapon. Luka Zoric is an all-round centre. Another big prospect coming out of Lithuania, Thomas Dimsha. And of course we have the MVP of the round and the top three plays. The Dragic brothers are becoming a dynasty in the Turkish Airlines Euroleague. The eldest, Goran, is now playing with the Phoenix Suns, but he played for Olympia Ljubljana in 2007 and briefly in Victoria a couple of years ago. The youngest, Zaran, is now shining with Unikaha Malaga. Zaran is 24, two years younger than his brother, who has always been fundamental for his life and career. First, uh, I played soccer with my brother, uh, then he get hurt, so he stopped playing uh, football, uh, he go to play basketball and I just follow him. This is Zoran's second season in Europe's number one competition and he has doubled his scoring average and tripled his assists. Last year was the first year uh, when I go out from Slovenia. It was very tough for me because everything was new for me. I need one year just to see new league, new people, uh, start speak uh, other language and uh, it's second year is always easier. We know him as a talented guard, but contrary to many players, Zaran is not obsessed with scoring baskets. I love to play defense. Uh, I love to give 100% pressing the, the player. Uh, trying to, uh, my goal is that I eliminate him, so that if he's the best player, trying to, to that he give the half of points. His best offence starts from his defence, hitting teams on the fast break, but over the years his all-round game has improved. I try to play a fast break, uh, I go more than the paint, uh, but uh, now I'm shooting better than uh, two years ago, so I have more weapons. When I see a Petunia, I go maybe I go back door. When I'm alone, I don't know, in 45 degrees on three, uh, I like that spot. Uh, but still, I just follow the game and uh, what I get from the game. This year, Zoran has often been a winning factor for his team. When he hits his stride, he is very difficult to stop. And he was the key to some vital victories that have made it a very positive season for Unikaha. Nobody expects that we're going to win Fenerbahce at home because they have a superstar team, I think, uh, and uh, that was pretty emotional. I scored 24, but that's not the reason. Uh, the reason is how, uh, how we play like a team and uh, it was re really awesome. In a one-way game of the week, Olympiakos Piraeus never trailed their opponents and reigning MVP Vasily Spanoulis was back to his best shape. He contributed with two of his four three-pointers overall to build an early 5-20 margin. Unikaha Malaga made runs but never got closer than five points throughout the game. The Reds increased the margin to 21 points and eventually beat Malaga 63-80. Spanulis finished the game with 20 points and 4 assists.
Forward Birkan Batuk is playing his second Turkish Airlines Euroleague with Anadolu FS Istanbul. Playing at this level in his hometown is exciting. His first dribbles and shots came right here in the Turkish city, almost by chance, when he was at school. I grew up in Istanbul. I was going to school and I was with fifth, I think fifth class and some guys came and checked the, who is the longest guy in the class. So they saw me and they said, do you want to play basketball? So I said, why not? It can be nice for me and like for my social life, I mean, that time I don't think I will be a basketball player, Euro player or whatever, but then it comes step by step. Following a settling down period during the regular season, Birkan's statistics have all improved throughout the top 16, having doubled his playing time and his average points per game. He took advantage of the opportunity handed to him by coach Evangelo Sangelo. He's trying to help, help us, say, I like your desire. If you want to play, you have to keep it and you have to improve it. So he gave us more confidence. The coach's faith in Birkan's ability is as much down to his technical skills on the court as to the energy he brings to the games. The right approach often leads to more minutes on the floor. I'm the player who can be ready uh, all the time. In the bench, even I don't play, or I, when I play, when the t team needs my energy, I, I love to use it in the defense, in the ball pressure, in the fast breaks, also with my shots, when the free ball comes. I have to work my off-ball screen shots, but um, I think I'm better on uh, spot-up shots and catch-on shots. Birkan Batuk seems to know what he wants. The 24-year-old has two particular players that he appreciates more than others. From Fenerbahce, Ömer Onan can be an example for me. And also, I like to watch Parparoli because he is the player who can help with his teams, not always scoring, I mean, rebounds, uh, like post-up plays and defense also. He's defending the uh, long guys. In order to emerge as a player, you need talent and discipline. Birkan has two rules he lives by. Staying together with the family, because even in the good days and bad days, your family always with you. Second is, I always take care of my uh, social life. I mean, my sleeping time, uh, my resting time, my working time. This is, this is very important for a sportsman. If you want to be success, success, so these two rules for me is very important. While the first top 16 verdicts are springing up, the desire to continue the adventure in the Turkish Airlines Euroleague increases, even for debut club Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar. To lead the Russian club towards this challenging and prestigious goal, we find the American point guard, Marcus Williams. I mean, we're in top 16. Everyone wanted to get to top 16, but I don't think everyone's satisfied. I mean, we have guys who've played in EuroLeague before, who have been in, in Final Fours, who've been in the top eight. So, I mean, our goal as a team, I think, is, is to get to the top eight. I mean, if we can put together four quarters of basketball, I mean, we could be one of the best teams in Europe. The role of Marcus on the court is devoid of individualism. For any good point guard, the first thing to do is to keep the situation under control. I'm not too excited. I try to stay poised. The point guard on the team needs to be the, the guy that's not the most rattled or the guy that's the most under control. So I try to stay under control for my team. I can find guys to score, set guys up to shoot baskets or, or, or to get an easy layup. If the point guard really plays for the team, you can see it by the first statistics that he looks at after the game. First thing I look at is probably the turnovers, um, to see how many I probably had, and then probably the assists. So I try to have a good assist to turnover ratio. Like many talented players from the past, he started playing basketball at a very young age. My father put me in a league. I was maybe like five, four or five years old. And I kind of, maybe when I got around high school, uh, like 13, 14, 15, is so where I really got engaged and excited in the sport and, and started to take it serious. 
For a player born and raised in California, visits to the Black Sea from friends and family is not so easy. My father came and uh, he had to fly from Los Angeles to Moscow, which is about 12 hours. And then uh, Moscow to Krasnodar, which is about 150. So he, he was kind of tired when he, uh, when he finally got there. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a tough journey to get from Los Angeles where I'm from to, to Krasnodar. This is Marcus's second EuroLeague. The first one was last year with Unicaja Malaga. So many good games, but one was memorable. Last year we played Panthinaikos in, in Malaga, and uh, I think we were down maybe six. The last three possessions, I, I think I made three three-pointers and put us up five or six points to win the game. And I think that was pretty exciting for because we needed to win. Um, it was an exciting moment for myself and, and for my team. One of the crucial aspects of Marcus Williams' game that stands out is the pick and roll, the most important offensive phase of modern European basketball. The right way to play pick and roll is probably to try to get the defense to, to pick someone to guard. I mean, obviously your man is getting in the way of the guy guarding you, so it's a two-on-one. So you want to try to make the big guy either choose to either guard his man or guard you and make the other teammates the other guys on the other team will try to pick who they want to guard, so it's, it's a mismatch, maybe a 5-on-4 or a 4-on-3. I think it's more difficult in Europe to play the pick and roll because there's no defensive rules as far as defensive three seconds. The game in Europe is evolving the pick and roll, and that's, that's how most teams are playing. And perhaps there is one player who excels in the pick and roll in the team. Probably Richard because he has the best hands. He's strong, he, he's going to catch the ball, he's going to finish the layup. Um, so he's probably the best guy to play pick and roll with. From his father to coach Evgeny Pashutin, the rules given to Marcus to play his best game are simple and clear. Just try to be who you are. Don't, don't try to be someone who someone else wants you to be. Just, just, just be who you are and, and respect who you are, and everyone else will respect you. You have to stay focused. Once you lose focus, everything else will probably start to fall apart. Derek Brown earned the B-Win MVP of Round 12 of the Top 16 after he led his Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar to their sixth win by beating Partizan Belgrade by 84-73. The 27-year-old forward from Oakland, California scored 18 points, shooting a perfect 6 of 6 by two-pointers and 6 for 8 from the free-throw line. Brown, who was also MVP of the month of November, added a career-high seven assists, five rebounds, three steals, one block, and drew six fouls. All this gave him a performance index rating of 34, the best of any player this week. If you are Croatian, and especially if you are 211 centimetres tall, you probably want to become a basketball star. Well, Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul centre Luka Zaric did just that. I was born in Zadar and uh, decided to play basketball over there. Basketball is, in, in my town in Zadar, it's life, it's love, it's everything, you know. And when you start it, and when you can, can see that you can play, it's everything. You never stop to think about basketball, and basketball is my life. I'm happy with my career. I try everything, because I, I don't have so so easy way, like maybe some other players, you know, they start to play good with 18, 19 or 20 years. I go from the, the, the down to, to the up and uh, I think that I'm happy because, because of that. Like most of the people from Croatia, Luka is very knowledgeable about basketball, which allows him to interpret his position in many different ways. Almost every game I, I play different because I watch what, who, who guard me in defence. 
Maybe I will play in pick and roll. When we, maybe I will play one on one. Maybe I try to run faster than him. Basketball has evolved over the years, rewarding almost always the most versatile players. With his back to the basket or on the move, Luka knows how to make the most of his height and how to use his body, especially when he is at the heart of the action. The pick and roll is just my game. That's, that's the, the game where I feel comfortable. I think that I can roll pretty fast and I think that from the pick and roll I can make short short roll to, to stop and shut for two points. Luka continues to improve his game season after season, even during the difficult moments, and he owes this to all the coaches he has had over his career. Every coach in my career helped me you know, in some way. Even that coach who doesn't like me, maybe he, he helped me that I must be, be stronger and he make me more tough. Fenerbahce, Ulker are having a tough but positive season so far and they are still in the fight to reach the playoffs. I think that our team have everything. The inside, outside, the coach, we have everything. We are really talented team, we can play tough. If we go into play, that everything starts from the, <laughs> from the beginning, you know, again. After that, I think that we have a big chance to make something very, very big this year. The coach, Jelko Obradovic, guarantees 100% commitment. He is longer coach than I'm old. He feels basketball the, the best than all coaches and he, he controls every game. I have feeling sometimes that, that he knows how the game will, will finish. Luka knows what he wants from the future. I think that my best career will come this year. This year. In a fundamental game, Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul, led by Bayan Bogdanovic with 24 points, tried to leave EA7 Emporio Armani Milan in their wake from the tip-off. Eight consecutive points by Nicolò Melli brought the two teams level again. A fluid game from the visitors took them ahead by nine at the break. Luka Zaric did his best to sound the charge, but despite his efforts, EA7 took the win 73-82, thanks to a solid performance. David Moss, top scorer with 15 points, and the Red Shoes of Milan can now celebrate their second place in Group E. Like many Lithuanians before him, especially those that have come through the Arvida Sobonis School of Basketball, Thomas Dimsha has made the art of shooting his main strength. Blessed with some versatile skills, the 20-year-old guard is part of the first team for Jalgiris Kaunas. I'm athletic player, I can work in defense. I'm universal, I can do everything on the court, what coach asked me. So I can do assists, I can do I can shoot from middle range, from a three-point line. Following two very good seasons with the Jalgiris youth team, playing in the Euroleague Nike International Junior Tournament, where he reached the final stages in Barcelona and Istanbul, Thomas made the step up to senior level this season and is currently experienced in the top 16 of the Turkish Airlines Euroleague. It has been an eventful year. Every game I'm getting better and I get more experience. Not only uh, games, you know, in practice with older guys. He has been receiving advice from a star of the game, Sarunas Yajikevicius, a teammate, but also a symbol of Lithuanian basketball all over the world. He said, 
you need to go here or here. He's always saying to you something. Just need to be focused on the court. However, Jajikevicius was not the only Lithuanian star to inspire Thomas Timsha. There is another player, also a point guard, who is setting the scene alight at Lokomotiv Kuba in Krasnodar. When I was like 10 years old or 11, my favorite player was Mantas Kalnetis. He is very athletic. The impact of the EuroLeague has been stimulating, but also very challenging. And the level of play means you cannot afford any distractions. The talent of one opponent in particular was quite overwhelming. Kate Lamford is a very strong and very quick player. It's, I think it was the hardest thing to, to play against him. He's very smart. He's always uh, thinking to take some, to provoke some fouls. Playing in the Euroleague is a privilege from a technical, athletic, and even personal point of view because it allows you to experience different cities and cultures. I like to travel. I've never been in Madrid before or Milan or other cities, countries, so I'm happy for, for a chance to, to go there. Nokia Arena of Tel Aviv, Israel, hosted a EuroLeague Classic between Maccabi Electra and Real Madrid. At the midway point of the third period, Nikola Mirotic broke the tie from mid-range and Ioannis Borussis hit a three-pointer to take Real into a lead of 51-60 before a wild 22-metre three-pointer of Devin Smith beat the quarter buzzer. Ricky Hickman capped a 15-2 run to put Maccabi in front, but after the lead changed hands four times, and with four ties, Rudy Fernandez hit a crucial three-pointer before Alex Tyus shined with a putback and foul with 2.3 seconds left. Maccabi now had the opportunity to take the game into overtime. However, he missed the free throw, allowing Madrid to escape with a 76-77 road win, locking up home court advantage in the playoffs. And now let's check out the top three plays of the week. Number three, Istanbul, Turkey. Curtis Gerald's weaving his way through, finds Gani Lawal. Oh, what a finish from Gani Lawal. He nearly lost the ball, but he somehow pulled it back in. And what a finish over Luka Zoric. Number two, Krasnodar, Russia. Lokomotiv Kuban, Krasnodar. What a pass, and Derek Brown, the weekly MVP, rises. Krunoslav Simon with the pass, Brown with the finish. And the number one player of the week from Tel Aviv, Israel. Last few seconds of the third quarter. Real Madrid miss. It drops. Devin Smith, he's going to try it. Whoa, what a finish to the third quarter. A full court buzzer beater from Devin Smith. Unbelievable for Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv. Player of the week from Devin Smith. With just two rounds remaining in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Top 16, FC Bayern Munich still have a chance of making it to the playoffs, but must beat Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv at the Audi Dome in the next game of the week. Zvetislav Pizic's team, who beat Real Madrid two weeks ago, have to raise their game once again against another EuroLeague powerhouse, while the Yellows want to make their qualification a certainty and also consolidate their third place in the table. 
In a thrilling finale in Tel Aviv, Maccabi managed a slim 66-64 success after leading 65-55 with three minutes left. Luca Steiger and Malcolm Delaney nailed back-to-back -back triples, but in the last seconds Delaney and Nihad Djedovic missed potential shots to win or tie the game. It will be an intense game, with both sides ready to put all their skills and courage on the court to reach their goal, which for Bayern would be a historic achievement, as this is their debut season in EuroLeague, up against the former EuroLeague winners from Israel. Don't miss this crucial game of the week next Thursday night when at the Audi Dome, FC Bayern Munich and Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv will do battle for their playoff livelihood. Presented by Turkish Airlines, Spalding, and Intersport.